Hi, so I'm going to show you how I've been doing this automatic break line extraction from these point clouds. So here you can see that we have a wastewater treatment plant that has some site work going on. And I cleaned everything up first. And now I'm going to try to see if I can get these tops of slopes and bottom of slope uh, extracted with the minimum amount of work possible. So this is just one way that I found and I know this will probably change over time but so far this is the best that we've got. So uh, first I want to know what the normal of this is so I'm going to go to compute normal and I've found plane works the best, reduces the noise in the point cloud and these drone point clouds are pretty noisy. I press OK. That takes a couple of minutes, so I'm just gonna. I did this before. So now we have a. I'll I'll have the normal point cloud up here, and then I'll I'll have the another one that shows the the depth angle of the of the cloud for the normal. So found that somewhere in the 8 degree that usually gets pretty close here so we'll just try I'm changing this so that only displays up to 8.8 .8, just a thin band of, of dip angles and I go to scalar field filter by value export. And then when I was doing this I thought well you know the top of slope is pretty arbitrary and a few more points won't hurt too much so why don't we just have a few other points in there too. So instead of just having the 8 degree dip angle why don't we also have the Thirteen degree, I'll get to thirteen. Thirteen degree dip angle, and in certain places, depending on the angle of the slope, your your top of slope and bottom of slope is going to be different. But you can see here that it's it's starting to look more like a what you would expect a contour map to look like, and this is showing where there is a change in elevation. So I'll just go here, export that again. Let's try a little bit lower, like three. This might be uh, eight looks pretty good right there. Yeah, that eight is looking pretty good in most places. So we'll we'll just put this in here just just for fun. Filter export. Okay. So now we have these, and th this is about. Well, let me let me merge these clouds about 150,000 points so I'm going to sample this down a little bit so you know if you're out in the field doing a topo survey you'd probably do every 5 feet 10 feet depends on the person let's just do two so now we just took this down to 22,000 I think I'll bring that down a little bit more let's do five feet so now we're down to 8,000 points. And this is starting out with a 4 million point cloud right here. And then I also want the ground points in between there. So then I'll just do subsample space. I'll do 25 foot grid since that seems to be pretty common spacing. That's what we do. So now we have a 25 foot grid with the top and bottom of slope. 
Okay. So I'll merge these. Nope. And then I'll just do save. Save as save this as an LAS file, which I've already done. And then what we'll end up with in the end is something like this. So I already put the points into recap, saved it as an RCP file, imported that into the Civil 3D, created the surface out of it. And it's not perfect, of course, but it is a significant improvement over what we were doing before. So we'll keep on working on this process. So let me know if you have any ideas of how to do this better or have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them.